Hi everyone, Miss Danny here. Today I'd like to show you a song to work on the dollar up strategy. This is a dollar up echo song. The dollar up strategy is used when making purchases. So if something cost $4.50, you would round up to the nearest dollar, which would be $5. A lot of our students are working on this skill. So I'd like to share this um, echo song with everyone. An echo song means that there's a call and response pattern between you and the student. This call and response along with a strong steady beat help to keep the student engaged. It helps make it fun and it helps make the activity feel more structured. For this activity, there's a lot of ways that you can adapt it. You can use the grocery store and grocery store items. You can use a clothing store and shop for clothes. You can do, you can let the student choose what they wanna buy. There's lots of adaptations. So what you'll need are whatever items that you're shopping for. If your student's using pictures or braille or words, um, however they're learning, you'll need those cards. Um, you'll also need different dollar amounts, whether that your student is reading them or just for your, your own self. And you'll also need dollar bills or play money to help count. And then optionally, you can play this on a drum with a strong, steady beat. If you don't have a drum, you can just play on the table or on your legs. I usually just use my legs to do some body percussion, so that's what I'll be doing today. So I'll go through this chant once with the student responses so you can hear how the whole thing sounds. And then I'll go through it a second time with the student responses as blanks so that you can hear how that might sound. All right, here we go. We're going to the store. We're going to the store. We're gonna buy some apples. We're gonna buy some apples. How much are the apples? How much are the apples? They're $2.81. $2.81. How much money do we need? How much money do we need? Let's round up. $2.81. $2.81. How many dollars? $2. How many cents? 81 cents. How many dollars? Two dollars. What's one more dollar? Three. Pay me, please. Pay me, please. And then you wait for the student to pay you the three dollars. And you say, why thank you very much. Why thank you very much. All right, so there's lots of ways you can adapt this. Like I said, you can have the student make a choice of what they want to buy from the store, or if you're working on other concepts such as reading comprehension, you might give them some choices and have them read one or pick one out. So you can work on multiple goals at the same time with this song. So let's go through it one more time and I will leave the student response as a blank so that you can hear what it might sound like. We're going to the store. We're gonna buy some apples. How much are the apples? They're $2.81. How much money do we need? Let's round up. So you always do a drum fill right there. It's a really fun for the students. $2.81. 81 cents. How many dollars? How many cents? How many dollars? What's one more dollar? Pay me, please. Pay me, please. Why, thank you very much. Why, thank you very much. So as your student improves, you can also adapt the song by leaving out parts 
Um, the original, I have them repeat the dollar with the cents, then repeat the dollar, repeat the cents, and repeat the dollar one more time so that's the last thing they hear before they have to round up to the next dollar. But if they're doing a good job, you can leave out that last step. You can even bring it way back to let's round up and see if they can tell you what the next number is. So that's the Dollar Up Echo Song, and I hope you enjoyed it and it's useful for you and your students. Have a great day. Bye.